Hello everybody, this is Rusty from Possum Bayou. Just going to do a little quick uh, layout update. I added a section of uh, bench work yesterday. I'm just going to show a little bit of, uh, it'll show a little bit of my thought process of how I want the layout to be and show basically how I've accomplished making it sturdy, added storage space, shelves, that sort of thing. Let's get on with the video. I'm going to give just a quick view to start this thing off. You can see the shelves and everything. I've got a little bit of uh, recycled stuff in here. Now this item here is from an old layout that I've had for years. Here's that mesh tape stuff that I used and I've used spackle compound. And on here I use these screws, and it only works on this thicker green foam, the blue foam that they, they, these screws get. Works okay, but not good as it does on this. This is a, like a craft foam you can buy at, at Lowe's. That's where I got it. I'll show you the adhesive I use to tie it down as well. Now this is basically got two legs on this end, but it's actually bolted to that table over there on that end. Now this one's a 12 inch wide unit, and this is a 16 inch. That was something I had and I was like, I didn't like, this was not stable at all. No matter what I did, it was kind of, it doesn't have a wide footprint. So if you bump it, it shook. So I bolted that there against it and it's a bolted against there as well. It makes it a lot sturdier. Set up, I mean, you can hit, I mean, it just like, it's here. Also use that to tie everything in. I'll probably put like a little shelf over there where they're on top of those instead of making it. It may, some of them may have some center, but not really that much. This bare plywood will have like a thinner foam layer there, but it will be like a dock seam. Go over here, I'll have my town over here. But what I'm eventually gonna do, I got the turn out there is I'm gonna have like a staging yard on the shelf over there. I probably have to slide my little workbench area back, but that's fine. And I plan on having, you know, siding back in here maybe. Got the old paper mill. I'm gonna stand back here. You can see my whole concept of standalone table with the shelf on the bottom. You put stuff underneath, you put stuff on the shelf. Now that's just a little section bolted between the two of those. And that's put there, it fits, I actually made that Pretty much to fit that spot, I think. And see the shelves, you can put stuff under it, put stuff in the back if you don't, like stuff you don't want to use very often or just kind of something to put something somewhere. All this stuff has been bolted together. I said this whole thing is not even attached to the wall. The thing will hardly move and it's not even attached to the wall. That's what I like about it. And I've actually, Use this train or this locomotive and switch cars in and out of the paper mill and went along here and back and forth through the, some of the switches and run through here. Seems to be pretty good. Got to get the, the, the tracks works laid down pretty good. What track I have right now. I said it got all my structures on that shelf there. Got to put this on the wall. Thinking about putting it right over there. We got like tools and stuff like power tools and stuff. And I've got like little small boxes and things in there with some craft paints and stuff in there. I got to say, here's the adhesive that I used to put the foam down. Now this over here and, and some of these other things, I did not use the screws because this is not dense as the green stuff. What I did was I took these things here that have stuff in them. And I just set it on there, you know, like, like the compressor and the different stuff. And it held it down pretty good. Now this little thing in the corner, these two pieces here of off of an old layout as well that I've had for years. Now this one is bolted to here, but only has, I think only got one leg on it, but maybe two legs that I got leveled off and boom, bolted together. Everything's all bolted together. Then whenever I put this, it adds more to it. That thing is just all, the whole layout solid. And I built this yesterday, so. So 
So that's what I've got so far is look at the shelves. I mean, that one doesn't have a lot of room to the floor, but I got a taller area there to stuck, stick stuff. I got a little bit higher from the floor here so I can put stuff on the floor and on that shelf. And I'll eventually plan on putting a lift out, probably about a foot wide between them two. So that's the overview of what I've been doing and what I've got so far. I really like the way this bench works held up. I was able to reuse some stuff and everything. Right now, lumber is really expensive compared to what it's been. So anyway, I hope you like this video. So just give an idea of kind of the way I was thinking about doing this. Well, I hope you like the little tour. It, it, it gives a little bit of an indication where my mind was on creating this thing. The shelves and everything, I really like how they are because I can store stuff under there. And once I get all the buildings and st structures on the layout, there'll be more area to store other things, you know, more tools and things of that nature. I only got a couple of sections of bench work to do that lift out for one and that staging yard for the other, which won't be that much to it. It's not going to be that very many tracks, really, but maybe four or five. That's about it. But I hope you liked everything. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe and then hit the bell so you can be reminded of something else that I apply. So, until the next time I see you, see you later.